Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's like three o'clock. Um, I don't know what day it is, but some of you have asked me about the chestnut trees I planted. I just checked one. There's not really much to see. They're still pretty dormant. I mean, you can see down there, the old leaves are still on there. But I took that tube off a little bit ago, and they are still pliable. They're, they're flexible, so that means they're still alive. If they had died over the winter, they would be uh, dried out and just snap in my hand. All kinds of deer tracks. But I also thought, while well, I'm up here, I thought I'd update you on my clover field that I had planted last fall. My thought was to plant it last fall and it would come back really strong and be the first thing up this spring. And uh, so far I'm liking what I'm seeing probably 75%. Um, if you look here, a lot is coming back. I'm not sure what that stuff right there. That's not clover, but I like that it's turning yellow. I don't know what that is. But there's, cl right there's clover beside it. I don't know what this is. Some kind of chickweed or something. I don't know. Um, but the clover seems to be coming in nicely. Um, and I'm hoping the clover gets a chance to, to establish itself quickly this spring and choke out everything else that is in here. You know, like this... This stuff's all dead and clumped up. I don't know what it is. Um, some of the grass is still coming up, but hopefully that clover will choke it out. There's a few spots I could probably reseed, and I might do that. A couple, couple spots in here, just use my caster. Down here was the trouble spot. I always, I always have trouble down here. The grass always seems to take over. There's another one of the chestnut trees. Still has its leaves, still pliable. I checked them. But in here, it has been awful with grass. I mean, it's just, I can't get rid of it. And you'll see, I'm sorry, gonna walk right up to it here. Yeah, see how all this grass is coming through? I mean, it's this trouble down here on this end with grass. Not a big deal. I mean, I've got a whole, you know, acre and a half here of field close to two acres probably, acre and a half at least. Anyways, getting off topic. Um, I always have trouble with this end, with grass. I've, I've sprayed, I've tilled, all kinds of stuff. I'm not too worried about the spring onions. I don't, they don't bother me. They don't last long. Um, the clover will probably choke them out. But I don't know if I should just retill this end down here and start over. I hate to do that, that's a waste of seed. Um, yeah, not sure what to do. Well, all kinds of deer tracks in here, though. Where, where were these deer at during hunting season? But I don't know. I mean, I got some, I got some seed left over because I knew I was going to have some bear spots up here. And uh, yeah, this is all, this is all clover right here. It's it's filled in nicely for the most part. A um, couple, like I said, a couple bear spots here and there. I have my feeder over here, so of course it's going to be all chewed up from the deer. So I have to reseed that but anyways for the most part i'm happy but i'm gonna go up here to the top field hook up my plow and uh, i already plowed it once and i'm gonna see if the ground's dry enough for me to just chew up those weeds again just keep going over it uh, it worked out much better than it did last year so uh, last year it was really hard breaking through that soil because i hadn't plowed in years but now that it's been worked up that plow just chewed right through it this year. So maybe I'll show you some of that. We'll go up here and see what's going on. See you in a bit. Okay, we're up here at the top plot. I got the plow in the back already, but you can see already, that's where I drove through, how this just chewed it up really well this year out there to dry. While I'm out here, I might as well take that feeder down. I was too lazy to do it last time. Uh, late, not lazy. My knee's been hurting. Give my golf tractor. Okay, I was lazy. Stop judging me. But I uh, will take this down. If I can get it out of the ground. Oh, I forgot I have two sticks in it. <laughs> maybe we'll get it out of the ground. Goodness gracious. All right, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Oh, 
goodness gracious. Get rid of that for right now. Again, you can see how it's done a pretty good job. I'll come back over this with the tires that you saw last year and smooth it up. I want to chew it up just a little bit more. I got some time because there's some clumps right here that didn't really break up. I want to kill those weeds as much as I can. And I think my brassicas last year didn't grow so well up here. I thought it would, but it means it okay, but it wasn't great. I'm gonna plant a different type, different type of clover up here. Give them a clover down there, different kind up here. And we'll jump on the tractor, get to plowing, and uh, I'll show you that. So hang tight. What I'm going to do here is put a little more pressure on the back. It seems like it's pushing more on the front, really digging in. Wrong way, dummy. Here's my try. A couple turns here. That'll push this back, push it down that way, and we'll see what happens. Just seems like I don't want to dig in that much on the front end. It's getting up big troughs. I just want to skim the top. That mull over me. That's great. So, you all tell me what you think. Can you see there?
Okay, there you have it. Much better. It's still pretty wet up here, so it's not breaking everything up, up but that's a lot better than it was. What I did was put a little more pressure on the downside, and I, since I didn't need to dig down any deeper, I raised up on the, uh, on the pressure completely. So the plates were just skimming the top and breaking up some of these clumps. You see in the middle there, it's a lot less clumpy <clears throat> than it is along the edges. But this end down here will hold more moisture anyways on the downward slope. And it's shaded by, I know there's no leaves on here yet, but it's pretty shaded in here. So I'm going to call that good. The next step I think is going to be, I might disc it one more time if it ever dries out. It just keeps raining. Like every three days it just rains. And I can't catch a break. So I'm doing what I can. And uh, I'm hoping next week, I think we have a, so right now we have a stretch of like four or five days of no rain. We got a, a chance of rain all day tomorrow, which is Friday, my day off. Of course it's going to rain. It rained my last Friday off, so of course it's going to rain for me. So, uh, yeah, that's that. But that's the, uh, I don't even want to bought anymore, six and a half foot um, king cutter. And it's doing what I wanted it to do. I mean, I wanted it to, that's all it's made to do. Break up that top level, prepare your seed bed. So, uh, like I said, we're going to put a, a clover in here. I forget the name of it. I showed you all in a different video. It's a lot more viney. Is that a word? Yeah, it's viney. So it has a lot more depth to it. I mean, you can pick it up and it's just a big clump and the deer is supposed to love it. So we're gonna try that strand up here. And we have the uh, mix of red, white, Landino, all kinds of different clover down that field. Hoping that field comes up. I'm gonna do a little frost seeding on that one, which I've explained that before, if you don't know what that is. Um, that's just uh, spreading it up in early spring when the ground is still freezing at night, but it gets warm during the day and little fissures or cracks open up in the soil and will swallow your seed and that's what helps it to, to grow them. So no dragging or anything like no, no seed bed preparation, all that stuff. So I was gonna do that up here and I had the leaf blower out one day and cleaned off the field. I thought, you know what? I got to plow up here, I got the tractor, might as well do what I what would be the best thing to do. So that's where we're at. I'll keep you updated, like I said, and uh, show you the planting and how it goes and the dragging like we did last fall but we're going to do a whole different direction this time no no brassicas just clover and we'll go from there so hey thanks for watching y'all i'll talk to y'all later bye